Like how's audio? Alright, one second. I don't need to hear that. Show me that he's streaming. There we go. Alright. All right, let me get let me get my butt in and I'll tell you. Well, I haven't started the stream yet, I'm just trying to get yeah. things prepared. You made sure you're muted, right? I muted my stream, yeah. You can talk on the stream, by the way, like, oh, if you do you. chat. Uh -huh. Properties. So, color six. Uh, don't capture third party overlays. How's it sound? I don't care. Uh, I should probably get to an area where I can do menu music. because I haven't tabbed over. No, oh, or it's because I didn't click it. That helps. I keep forgetting I have to tap it for it to go to Anyway, I have to uh, share my stream. Copy. And then paste. So where is my Sell out. I'm just gonna at everyone for this. <laughs> because I can do that and no one else can. Okay, I can yeah, I can hear you on the screen. Can how about the game? Um I don't hear the game yet, but I don't it's not it's not a it's not a it's the, you should be able to hear the game. I can hear the game. Um, the, ge the game music just started on the screen because it's delayed compared to what I'm hearing in current, in current time. Um, they're going to want to turn the sound up a little bit along, maybe just a smidge with your voice as well. What? I need to hear this. What? I need to hear this. I don't, I don't, I don't hear my, my voice being a problem here. You're gonna, but you are going to want to turn the sound up to the game. I turned it down before, because I couldn't hear anybody while we, we were doing something else. By the way, the stream has almost caught up to the exact time, and... That's because I have it on low latency. Okay. Um, I'm going to... All right. Yeah, okay, I'll I'll uh, make sure I'm on you. There are people. S it says there are three viewers, but there's only two of us. All right. So I'm gonna just do arcade first. Do you want to see arcade first? See. Who do you want to see fight? Geralt? We've got all the characters. And okay, I was, I was these three unique. You can mute the stream. So you can choose between my creative characters I've already made, or any of the. I think you should play as Gumi and you should go against. Oh wait, why can't I play as Siegfried? In arcade. 
If I go to Versus, I can't see Siegfried. Or am I just blind? Oh, he is a playable character. Never mind. I'm fucking dumb. Alright. I think you should play as Gumi, and I think, uh... Alright. There's one character that looks like they're in armor, like through face and everything, but that could have just been the two seconds I saw it. And um, Nightmare? Th third row, all the way to the right. I... can't tell already. So this is like Gumi. And we already got Mitsurigi. I'm not- I don't know how to use Tira. That's his, that's the fighting style I'm using for Gumi. I do more damage like this when I'm gloomy. I do less damage like this, but I can do more hits. No, it's gloomy. The battle is over. Show respect for the fallen who fought so bravely. I'll, I'll do story mode once Killer gets in here. Noted. But I'm making a fresh character, so... Choose fighting style and character and I'll have to play with it. So this guy's Maxi, he uses nunchucks. Oh, what the fuck? I never saw that before. Victory will not come easily. It must be seized. I'm in no way a professional Soul Calibur player. I, I, I'd say I'm better at Smash than I am at Soul Calibur. No, it's... Can you stop? See how crazy Maxi can get? He hits a hard. Ah, oh, I whiffed it!
He really likes to sidestep. So they're A's, B's, and K's. So your A's do horizontal attacks, and your B's do vertical attacks. And then your K's are your kicks. That's how Soul Calibur works. I should probably grab him. I'm uh, not grabbing. Come on, get up. I don't know how to make the most use of the two stances that she has. I know how to use Baldo. But everyone knows how to use Voldo. <laughs> oh, great. The desire for power leads the warriors to the Arab Desert. Let's get this fight started. This won't be in the YouTube video. I'm gonna cut this all out, so I'll have to do an intro once I actually, when Killer gets back. Do you really have the time to do that? Sit there and watch it? Victory goes to the last one standing. And I can always just... I'd feel like I would have to pay you though. I have other gro throws depending on where she's positioned, by the way. It's just, if you're anywhere in the front. So what I was doing is a kind of a new feature exclusive to Soul Calibur 6. And it's a, basically a uh, rock, paper, scissors. It's basically rock, paper, scissors. The battle is over. I don't remember what beats what, but if you're being cautious, you can just hit your guard button in order to uh, get away without taking too much damage. I don't know everything about this game, I just know what I know. The last Soul Calibur game I played was a little bit of 5, but not enough to... Like, I played like once or twice. I have, I played, I mainly played Soul Calibur 2 on the Xbox. They're great games. They're also not Tekken. But this game is a sort of soft reboot. So you only have two meters and you only have one special move. But you, you also have this ability and she guard break. He guard breaked. And he put me back into Jolly. Victory 
victory will not come easy. It must be seized. What was it just? So this is a 3D fighter because it uses like front and back and stuff like that, but also rings out are a thing. I haven't been able to do it in this game, but I used to do it all the time on 2. Also, no one in this game will fight with their fists. Everyone in this game... Everyone in this game... Fights with, uh... Weapons. That's the, that's the main selling point. Oh, what I did there was an unblockable attack. And then I... Just used one vertical. I haven't fought Raphael yet in this game. He doesn't have much to do with most of the other characters. Oh, we both went to guard, <laughs> so nothing happened. Let me eat Jeff face. Oh yeah, by the way, the ring I'm using, the entirety of it is a blade. It's described to as a sword. Oh, that's why. So this super can only be done in gloomy mode while I'm soul charged. Victory will not come easy. It and it guarantees it switch to joy. This map you can't get a ring out on because there's no edges. Yeah, it has to be a place with edges, or destroyable edges. Like... There's only like two maps, if I remember correctly, where you can't fall off the edge of. Mitsurugi likes to abuse it in some of the later stages. I'm back, you cunt. Okay, killer. So after this, I'm going. We're going. I'm going to start the recording. No, no. We're we're going. Killer. I wanted to do story, and I was just explaining to Flameblood what I was doing, basically. I'm also playing a slightly difficult character. She's not 
as difficult. So, oh yeah, when I taunt, I can uh, switch between gloomy. That's the easiest way I've found to switch between gloomy and joy. But there are moves that either have a chance to switch modes or will guarantee a switch. So when you see like the purple like haze around me, that's when I'm going into gloomy and w when there's a uh, yellow haze, that means I'm going into uh... Oh god. I keep holding back to try to block. As you can see, juggling is very much a thing. Ah, oh, shit. That's why I kind of wanted to have, like, spectators, too. I wanted to have spectators so the stream doesn't be boring. That's kind of why I wanted that. The sixth round of arcade is always the most difficult. Ah, shit. Oh, my God, you fucker. I like dodging it. Now I'm don't badmouth other streamers, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that's how I was about to say. It's against Twitch TOS, even though I'm not a partner, it's I still am abiding by it. Uh. I've never seen that one. Oh, his junk. A circular blade right into his junk. It's me kicking you in the junk. Splendid shove skill. I didn't know what I was doing. Fuck you. I've never uh, fought this character either. You got your ass in story mode. This isn't story mode. This is arcade. Yeah, he wanted to wait on you. Let's get this fight started. May the wind watch over me. Battle one. Fight. Alright, time to game. Give me a minute. Your heart. You're not gonna let me switch, are you? I'm excited for 2B. Come on, get off the edge. That's not exactly what I was trying to do, but it works. It's, it's kind of weird how they handle grabs in this game.
Block! Block! As you can see, some characters are a little bit harder to fight. I had more trouble with Cervantes than that character, and I think that was the end of the arcade. Maybe not? No, it isn't. Oh, I find Geralt. Usually characters like taunt, like say something when they introduce themselves, but that's not what they're doing. Oh yeah, they do. Never mind, I'm stupid. I, what I just did there was block. I I wasn't sure what he was gonna do, so I went ahead and blocked. See what he did? The ring out. If you get ringed out, you're instantly dead. Geralt, how you're supposed to play Geralt is be patient. No, because that's not how you're supposed to play the the ring. Basically, you're supposed to play the character like their personality. So, play if you're going to play Geralt, you're supposed to play like Geralt in The Witcher. Okay, buy my stuff to the last edition of Stone Calibur. What? Why did that work? I just spammed the same attack. Not bad, gotta admit. I mean, you get Tira, extra armor customization pieces, and uh, you get. Uh, What's confirmed to be 2B. It says two new characters. It says right here. Three new characters uh, and Tira as a bonus. Yeah. As you can see, I kicked uh, Geralt out of the ring. And two more armor packs. And then a hundred plus a hundred customization parts. As you can see, I kicked Geralt out of the ring. And he said, what the hell? All right. Killer, be quiet for a second. Cause this is the part where the Six. where the actual YouTube video is. I'm gonna cut out the whole uh, arcade bit. So guys, welcome to Soul Calibur. It's part of a stream. The rest of it is gonna be unedited. We got Killer and Flame Blood joining me here, and that's it. We're gonna do. They're, these two numbskulls are gonna tell me how to make. I've never done story mode, as you can see. I've done. I've done the whole Libra, so I've went through the main story, which everyone's seen, and I've I've gotten some practice in this game with Geralt, Voldo, and Mitsu. And Mitsurugi, and that's pretty much it. And these guys are gonna decide what my created character is going to be and how they fight. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. So I may, I may end up going through an entire story mode with a character I don't know how to play. 
No, I didn't say naming. I said you guys are creating it. I fi figured it'd be entertaining. I'm gonna tell you this, you've made a pretty big mistake. <laughs> I can make some pretty weird looking characters. Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with presence of mind. A link I'm between all, chaos uh, and I'm laughing a lot now, but you are quite the <laughs> once you end up uh, still, the world with me, with you me will eventually succumb. It will be the reverse. Unless you <laughs> Pretty much. a clear image of yourself onto your soul. Except you know I'm not a dog. I'm back. I'm back and I just downloaded Soul Calibur. Well, Killer, we're doing so. We're, this is the YouTube part now. Mm. Okay. So. What race are we? Are we human? Outcast? Lost soul? Lizard man, mummy, automaton, shapeshifter, colossus, elf, malefic, lost soul horned, darksider, a revenant, malfested, mutated malfested, or fully transformed malfested. What are we making? Spooky, scary skeleton since it's ha uh, Halloween. Uh, that by the time this video goes up, it's not gonna be Halloween. Malfested, mutated, and malfested, fully transformed. The last three here are malfested. They're just evil, basically. So human. Yes, I agree. That's what I'm doing. I figured I'm making you look whippy in this game. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna make this decision for you guys. Whatever looks incredibly good. Okay. Let me just take off all this annoying armor real quick. Oh, I can't take off the anno armor. Alright. So what is what's our build? Are we short? Or are we tall? Incredibly short. So I have no reach but I'm more powerful. Yeah. Alright. And are we thin? Basic or thick? Good question. Short and thick. <laughs> Alright. Anything else that I need well, you want me to change? On here. I can change the chest by the way. Pointing that out for killer. I don't normally choose so this is the flattest I can get. This is the biggest I can get. That's like some like watermelon size. I don't like that. Gumi actually has like a ne negative four. By the way, my Gumi character. So we're flat. Do you want us to have a beer gut or like a flat stomach or just keep it like this? Anything else you want to change? Like the upper arms, the forearms? From what I can see, no. But muscle definition? No. <laughs> no muscle definition? Remember, we're making you look like a whip. Alright. Which face? We've got female face 1 through 11. Which one, which one are we getting? Again, your stream sort of delayed like more than ever. Well, 
he has it set on a delay. 1, 3, and 11 look like the windiest to me. <laughs> 1, 3. This is what 3 looks like. And 11. This is what 11 looks like. This is what 1 looks like. Let's go with 3. 3? Okay, what hairstyle? Hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna list the rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight, and then so you tell me what r roll and what, no and then the number between one and four for th to choose the hairstyle killer. Yo, zombie, you there? Killer. Um, you choose then. We can change the hair color. No. So, any one of these can be blonde, even like this one. Oh, okay, then I'm gonna What? Uh, I'll look through them again. Alright, at the very bottom, the ones where they're currently colored blue, I want the one with the... Oh. This one? Yeah, that one. Alright. What eyebrows? I couldn't care less. I'll leave them at default. Voice? Let's get this fight started. So will you okay, let's get this started. Will you fight me? Well, so you want fight? Let's get this fight started. Look you look nice and tough. Are you ready? So to dance with me? I'm scrolling through them so you can hear them. What? You can't do the voice? Well, there's one that's uh, just like. What? What would you say? Whatever is the most playful voice. Let's get this fight. You look, are you ready? You look so. Will you? Okay. Let, will you? So let's get this. You look. Are you care to dance with? Let's get. Wanna have some fun? Come on, let me. Wanna have some fun? So you look beautiful, dead, or will you want to have some fun? So zealot, zealot, or malicious imp. That's the malicious imp. Ze zealot is like yandere. How do you want me to change the pitch? Lower or higher? Alright. So what colors do you want? We can change our skin color. We can change our undershirt. We can change our hair. 
We have two parts. We have three parts to our hair, by the way. Well, two parts to the hair. Eyebrow color, face color, eye color, whites of the eyes. So, what do you want to do? Okay, the hair we should make, uh, instead of blue and black, we should have the black part pink, and the blue part, we should have it... How pink? Hot pink? Hot pink. Hot pink, alright. And as for the blue part, we're gonna want that. That's almost purple. I think that's a. The part that's currently blue, we're gonna make it a bright yellow. Yes, I'm making your stupid looking. I'm making your character look stupid as possible. Bright yellow? <laughs> it's like some sort of fucking Super Saiyan. <laughs> Eyebrow color? Then we'll go bright green. Yeesh. Eyebrow color? A dark orange? Yes. <laughs> Any... I, about this so far. I mean, she doesn't look too bad right now. So, how about makeup? I mean, I could have said we could change the face around. Good. How about makeup? Um... Tell me what tab and then what you want. There are scars. Tab two all the way down for a second. All the way down. Tab two. Um, the one where it looks like there's this uh, pink fire on the eye. That's not a fire, I think that's a rose. I don't know. I can't I'm using my phone, remember? Yeah, that's a rose. Okay, so what do you want to change the colors to? Um, probably fine, but it's, uh, what it's default is. Alright. So. I want, note, I want to make a note, I'm not trying to make your character look completely stupid, just wimpy and girly. Okay, so what? If it, if it was character killer, I'd make a horrible beast. <laughs> so, uh, what color are you? What's the eye risk? The color we're going to do a bright uh, a bright red. No, bright green. We'll do a bright green for red. Iris Bright green? Yeah, and that's for and the iris or the whites, whatever. Uh, the other color we'll the default. The whites, okay. So are we having the whites? What did he say? Uh, the whites will just leave it evil. Alright. Look at what you've created. I don't think it's that bad. It's not that bad. Hey, if it was a killer, I would have made an unspeakable horror, dude. Okay. So. Speak of the devil. What weapons are we using now? Mitsurugi! And so what? What weapons, what weapons have you never used? I've pretty much played all the characters. Okay, what weapon do you know the least? Are, you really want to fuck me over, don't you? <laughs> Maybe. Well, if you really want to do that, then let's go for an expert weapon. Advanced. The rig is advanced. I was using it. 
That tells you how bad I am at the game. I uh, I don't know how to use Yoshimitsu, and Mai would fucking yell at me if I used this weapon. Killer, what do you think? I mean, I can play the photo weapon. Fucking do a JoJo pose. No, the weapon you're worse than you think. <laughs> but look. This character looks like Jolene Kujo from fucking Jojo Part 6. <laughs> like doing that pose. It would be perfect. <laughs> no worst uh, I don't think I've never touched the ninja swords. I've never touched them. Cause I I've never touched that character. And use a ninja sword for all that But I've also never used the the elbow blades either. One's close up and defensive and the other's just close up. Which one's close up? Both of them are close up. Well which one is non defensive? The ninja swords? All right. I'm trying to screw you over as much as possible. What is the name? The name. Jotaro Kujo. <laughs> you know what? At this point, go right ahead. No, no. Killer, you come up with the name. Because I've come up with everything. Killer. Oh, he's deafened. <laughs> I guess it's just me and you, kill it's Flying Blood, not Killer. You're not Killer. It's because I'm. You're not. You, mo most of the time, you're not even in the server, okay? Also, I forgot that I did something, so, uh, let me fix my recording so that everyone can see it. Alright. Can they see that? I do not know. Okay. No, can't see it. Steam overlay works. I don't think I have Discord overlay on that on this game. That's not okay. Discord overlay. Let's see. Overlay. On. Okay. It should work. Not right now. Okay, now it's working. So now everyone can see who is talking. All right. So flame, can not come up with a name yet? Will I drink this sobe? Yeah, I'm trying to think of something. I want to think of something ridiculous. She kind of does look like Jolene though. It's kind of <laughs> stupid. Just switch the colors to green and black. Just name it Lizard Van. Or Inkling from Splatoon.
Let me think. What was that one? Uh, I forgot. It was There's not enough room. I'll just name it Splatoon. It was. Hold on. It was the canon name of the. Of the. Uh. Agent Hero from the first story. First game. It was the canon. Agent 3? No. Not what they're called. They put out an actual name that's used. I can't spell Splat for some reason. And there's one T in Splatoon. Okay, her name is Splatoon. Right. Now we are finally with going into the story. And I've created a monster. Technically I've created a monster. If you can keep a hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. I have no idea what this guy does. Like, I haven't played his story. I just know he's like a magician. He fought Geralt. He, and I know that he constantly reincarnates. Because he oversees the... He oversees the whole... Th like, store. Wait a minute. That date... That date is suspicious. 1584. Isn't that after Soul Edge is destroyed? I thought Soul Edge was destroyed by Kiwik. And don't say spoilers because it's from the first game. On the fucking Dreamcast, you had over 20 years. She looks so surprised. Doesn't she? When I woke up, my head was pounding. Maybe... Do you want a voice act? For the character? No? No, I'm not voice acting. Alright. When I woke up, my head was pounding. Maybe it was a nightmare. I, the nightmare I had. I could, but I could barely catch my breath or stop shaking. You want a voice for act for him? I, He'll barely show up. Remember, there's a game I'm testing out on my end over here. So. You're finally awake. If, if was here, he'd totally voice act, I think. It seems you've had quite the nightmare. A man in the hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quiet but strong-willed. My name is... I'm gonna butcher this. Zazamael. Zazamael. Something Middle Eastern. <laughs> That's as best as you're gonna get, by the way. Don't take offense. And I know what happened to you. You were greatly affected by the seed of evil, evil seed. You escaped becoming a malfested, but I'm afraid you you may not escape death. So, what do you want me to do? Ask about the evil seed, ask about the malfested, ask about my nightmare and the headache. Or don't ask anything. I know a little bit about the uh, evil seed, but I have no idea about the Malfested or the Nightmare, really. Other than maybe that it's because the Soul Edge was destroyed by Soul Calibur. Um, ask about the Nightmare. Your body does not to be appear to have been altered by the evil seed, however, it seems to have affected your soul. Linking it to what is called the Astral Chaos. The Astral Chaos is a curious realm where great powers collide. In time, it will consume your soul, resulting in your death. Your nightmare and headache are a sign of what is to come. Oh, I guess we'll just ask about everything then. 
the evil seed. It is a great evil that burst forth from the Western Europe as a torrent of light rained down upon the world. Around the world. I have no idea what Malfested is, so let's ask about Malfested. They are beings whose bodies and minds have been twisted by evil. Symptoms vary, but some are known to become monsters. Many Malfested lose all sense of reason, become violent, and attack people. Luckily for you, fate puts you on a different path. If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you how to extend your life. I bet this is a tutorial on how to play, even though I know how to play. <laughs> Dojo Dora, the martial arts master. Here you can play the battle tutorial for Soul Calibur 5. Visit Dorana's Dojo to train before starting your adventure. Move, okay. They're gonna want me to do the tutorial battle thing anyway. I don't know how to actually exactly play this thing, this weapon I've chosen, so. I heard a rumor that look at the day. Basic controls and battle systems. This will probably tell me more than what I know. Learned of a highly respected martial arts instructor in India named Dorona, praises the very model of, the, of a warrior. I've made my way across treacherous mountain paths, traversed crumbling ledges b before finally reaching my destination, a dojo surrounded by burbling mountain streams. On one side of the dojo, a diverse group of young warriors were enthusiastically in practicing with weapons, having come from far and wide. I have, I've heard many of them even became royal or noble bloodlines. Unlike their master's humble roots. Hail, traveler. What business do you have so deep in the mountains? I told my name and that I'd come here to learn. Well, Splatoon. I never refuse anyone with a desire to learn. However, I live in seclusion because I've earned the ire of a local ki of the local king. If you stay, you too might find yourself with a powerful enemy. Are you sure about this? I nodded and he continued. Very well. I will train you, but before we begin, let me see your skills. The game is going to teach me how to play a game. Even though you already know how to play the game. I mean, you saw. I can at least perform at a normal level. Without nor knowing how to what I'm doing exactly. Yeah, I know. I know 8 Ray 1. I, I know how to 8 Ray run. I'm not u using the numpad system, by the way. Oh, okay, so when I hold forward, that's just a guard break. Alright. I'm just learning. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. How to play. Guarding. You hold the, You hold G. Are you gonna attack? Crouching guard, I know how to do that. Low attacks, 
back down and attack one together. I did not know that one. Cause uh, I was confused. Okay. Defend yourself by parrying your opponent's attack, following up with your own. Successfully landing a reversal edge will create some distance between you and your opponent, cause you both take fighting stances. After taking a fighting stance, both you and your opponent will en enter a clash phase in which actions can be performed with X, Y, or B, each resulting in a different attack. The attacks will have a rock, paper, scissors relationship with another or with A beats B, where A beats K. No. Yeah. A beats K. K beats B. And B, no, K beats A. I'm confused. Trying to put it into Soul Calibur terms. Buttons do that! Classes normally only occur after a successful reversal edge. However, if you successfully parry your opponent's attack and continue the hold. For a set time, you'll enter even if your reversal is just blocked like that. All right, critical edge. I know how to. I know what critical edge is. Star supers. It's kind of ridiculous being in a full suit of being in a suit of plate armor. I just killed a man, and he's still standing. What a legend! So the game pretty much told me nothing now. I thought it would tell me like stuff to use with this weapon slot. Oh, well, why is that a? Don't interrupt me while I'm taunting. Did he even hit me? Oh no, I'm not 100% paying attention. Yeah, of course, I've mastered basic fighting techniques. It's a fighting game. I like fighting games. Also, your bandana is clipping through your hair. Sir! Let me tell you a story. When I first began my training, I had a fellow disciple who was slightly older and always looked down upon me. I wanted to prove myself against him, so I learned a powerful technique. And yet, when the time came, I could not defeat him. It turns out I was unable to actually use the technique when the chance came. My folly became evident. Instead of focusing on learning a flashy technique, I should have worked on improving my fundamental skills. So I dedicated myself to practicing the fundamentals. When I was satisfied, I went to challenge him once again, but I was too late. He had lost his life in a war against a neighboring kingdom. This man had a son who claimed vengeance against the one who slayed his father only half a year later. Now he's a warrior even more skilled than his father was. Take this letter of introduction. If you ever have the chance, you should pay him a visit. He took the letter and thanked him, leaving the dojo behind. It gave me experience and style points, I guess. 
There was no point in that though. There was literally no point in me doing that. Practice with focus on attack. Learn a variety of attacks and offensive tactics. It's good to see you again. Why do I owe the pleasure of country interest? I had a lot of different attacks. Okay. I'm just trying to learn the weapon. Because I've never touched it. Please bear with me. Crouching attacks. Yeah, I know how to do that. You growl, you guard down, and then you can attack. Dual button attacks. I know how to do those too. XY is like one of the harder ones to attack. No. YB. XY performs this. What was that? Alright. Alright. I'm pressing. Oh, it's a strong attack. I am doing that. There we go. Run moves. Double tap. This is telling you, basically it's just giving me options, telling me options. Special attacks. Break attacks. Or XY. They break guards. The effects you can affect. Okay. This next. During our time together, reminisce about his time training. Increase your knowledge of effects triggered by attacks. Effects is not about attacking wildly. Uh, look at Juggable Fighters. That was a joke. In order to claim victory against a skilled foe, you must know when, where, and to use the what technique. So let us begin your next lesson. Oh my god. Countering. Taking your opponents that perform certain event. Okay. 
Okay, while well, attacking as they move, we'll uh, activate a run counter. Stuns. Okay. Okay, we stood. <laughs> Question an opponent's guard. Continue your to attack your opponent to uh, begin a flash yellow and eventually red. Attack an opponent while it's red will crush your guard, leaving them vulnerable. Okay. That's not gonna get used in any fights. Letting attacks under certain conditions. My counter never versa it will it's a lethal hit. Let me read this. Landing attacks under certain conditions, for example, pressing LB, countering a reversal edge, register your attack as a lethal hit. Slow your opponent down. I'm not going to be able to perform lethal hits with this character. Because... It's not going to be easy for me to do. Yes. I can do it with Valdo. He's grown more skilled. When I was like, I travel the world is an inherent warrior. I don't know what that word means. Google Swad, go! That's you. No. What is that word? No. You fucking. Killer's not the Google Squad because he can't fucking read. He can read. He just chooses not to. He just can't read right. What the fuck is that? It means traveling to place to trace. Place. Not trace. Intenerant. Is how that's supposed to be pronounced? You could have just said wandering warrior instead of that. You don't need to make use big words to make yourself small and smart game. It's a fighting game. You're already smart. 
You're the chest of video games. Other than video game chess. Let's see, has chat said anything? No, they have not. As I travel the world as an inherent, inherent warrior, one day I was distant north of the Ming Empire in a place called Szechuan. I told Dorana that Szechuan was in the southwest of the Ming Empire, He simply, but he simply looked at me puzzled. It is really? Well... Wherever it may be, I was there, and let me tell you, there was a tribe of fierce warriors. During my time there with them, I met Hong Yu. Hong Yu was a strong, beautiful young woman. Her slender limbs wielded a blade with great finesse, and her strikes were quick as lightning. She could fend off any attack nimbly, moving like a young willow tree in the breeze. I immediately fell in love with her. Where are you, Dan Avenon? That was a, it's a joke about uh, Ninja Sex Party. Dan Evadon play on stage is Danny Sexbang, which is a nerdy Jewish guy who falls in love with women immediately and has no game. At all. Go listen to Ninja Sex Party. They're great. I use I use them as a. Uh, Break music during streams sometimes. However, she told me she could never love me unless I could best her in combat. In a contest of strength, I'd beat her easily, but her defenses were impenetrable. My attacks were blocked, parried, or avoided. I couldn't even touch her, and that's because I had not yet, er, uh, I had not yet, not yet learned how to. Pierce a talented foe's defense. I cannot read. Sounds more like you should be in jail. I, I had learned a thing or two since then, such as the effectiveness of throws against an opponent who rarely gets, lets their guard down, and that there are special techniques that break through any guard. But back then, she defeated me and said she had no interest in the week. I left and trained as hard as I could. And eventually returned to face her again. Unfortunately, she had already went to another. If you ever passed this chef's run, would you, you would do well to see her skills for yourself. I'm sure the experience would come in handy. Vowing to take his advice to how or I left the dojo. Only to come back immediately. Yeah. And uh, to go back immediately. I'd... See now for another visitor. I'm back like two seconds after you told me you're gone. I went. Take care. Don't oversell the skills you learned here. You got it. Yes, Master. Thanks. Why is it up with this mustache that everyone's fucking using? Is it like some club I'm not in? Sorry to keep you waiting back for more training, are you? Well, come in. When asked about the man who just left, uh, told me he was a student who had come from the desert. On my way home from my romantic defeat at the hands of Yo Hong Yu, I man saved my life in the desert. The student you just saw here is, came here on that man's recommendation. The desert, to reach India from Szechuan, you'd have to head southwest. The desert is in the complete opposite direction. This man cannot tell direction. Hmm, what's with the perplex look? Oh, I get it. Training first, talking later. Well, today I'm go going to teach you about guarding and evading. I know how to guard. I know how to evade, kind of. What's up with these frame dips in the loading screen? And then the end cutscenes. What is going on? I'm getting full 60 though. Otherwise. Evading vertical. You just move. Alright, so 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 could the stream hear my brother? 
You may you may have me louder than the stream though. Crouching guard will protect you from low attacks and let you dodge high attacks and throws. Why did I? So there are no light attacks or heavy attacks in this game, by the way. Indicate they can be okay. I see that. Evading low attacks. Level up for guarding. I did not know you could jump like that. Grapple breaks. I know how to do that. Just guard impact. No, you don't. Just press a button. And then. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong direction to break. That's why I got grabbed. I was holding forward instead of back. Because I was on the right side of the screen instead of the left. Very good. The fundamentals of defense. Lessons will be much harder after this. Defense number two. Advanced. Evading attacks entirely is usually the best on. Don't have that lu luxury. Yeah. When you're pre pressed by hard by a dangerous opponent, what do you do? Well, I'll teach you some techniques that will help you grasp the victory from the jaws of defeat. Supers? Probably not. Ukemi. When knocked back yeah, to the ground of, by your opponent's attack, press a direction and A just as you hit the ground. The direction you press the, determines the direction you form a Kemi. Alright. Ukemi cannot be performed after turn attacks or attacks. When you, have, you cannot perform a Kemi. Still avoid follow up attacks by guarding or rolling to the side. Wake up actions. Go rise from the guard immediate and immediately guard by pressing A on the ground. Attack button that allows you to attack as you rise. I keep it coming! Aerial control. You can show where you're following after being launched. There's additional attacks from your opponents as well as prevent a ring out. Down back and up back are use the safest options, but holding the direction opposite to the, to the ring edge is best. Trying to do aerial control. I can't move. I can't control myself in the air for some reason. What the fuck? I think it's just the god awful controller. 
I'm trying to move in any direction. I'm not moving in any direction after I'm being launched. Dodge a follow up with an aerial control. Apparently I did it once, but it all I did was an Akemi. Keep getting stabbed. It seems like the only way to dodge this one is to hold back. Oh my god, this is the nightmare to watch, I bet. Look at this! Bullshit! What? This isn't even- I bet you this isn't even weapon dependent. It's just fucking bad game- fucking bad controller. Apparently you have to be halfway on to the ground before you can do it, which is stupid. Garden packs, I know how to do this. Also, when you're in Mantis mode with Aldo, that's how you hump the air. It's X, Y, and a reverse garden impact. Wow, you must be pretty ugly to wear that mask. <laughs> Do you wear it out on dates? <laughs> I can't get enough of that line. So I made, uh, I made... You're on stream. Yeah, I know. Hi. Hi, people watching. Like, two of you probably. It's just flame. Yeah, two, two is giving too much credit. <laughs> so, uh, I made because of the weapon I killed, I made the game next one. I also made a monster of Oh boy. That's not it. That's not what I needed to do. I feel like doing another freaking playthrough of New Vegas. Again, again, again. Just hit me! I can't use the fucking thing. Both you and your opponent can- I should actually read what it says at the bottom. Both you and your opponent can continue to perform re inverse impacts indefinitely, delaying your attacks to throw off your opponent's timing, or pressing LB plus X and Y to perform a break attack is our effective ways of gaining the advantage.
playthrough. I don't want to ditch like the level 42 destruction build that I have. Ooh, crosses tap. Oh hi. I didn't even know you I, Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. I'm actually getting salty. This is so fucking annoying. Flame knows what draws the viewers in. The anger. It says use XY to against a reverse impact, but the reverse impact that he does fucking wax lands me on the my ass, so I can't fucking do it. Use Just do the fucking reverse impact. Fire weapons or energy damage. Uh oh, boss, there's a ghoul a ghoul in the back row that really blends in. Alright, I already got so confident down with yeah. <laughs> it. Just seems, it just seems it's really shit. Full caliber. I hate this guy. This is what you want me to do, right? I'm proud of what I've done. I thank you for that, Flame. Yes! Cry, baby! <laughs> uh, if I could be there. On the You're just gonna make guts, I know you are. Your base character's gonna be Siegfried. Oh my fucking god, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'M PRESSING THE BUTTONS! <laughs> there we go! Fuck you! I'm trying to do a tutorial and it's not fucking doing their buttons on top of I'm streaming. I'm probably getting pulled off because... No, he's yeah. asking what I'm doing. Oh. Making bad cho- making bad friendship choices. <laughs> so, how do you two like my work? I'm intrigued. This is what happens when you have me great- No, it's- the, here's the thing, every character can do that. It's just I'm fucking bad. Oh, oh really, Flame Blood? Then, then make my Fallout fall New Vegas build. To be honest, I've been accidentally oh, oh, so entirely oh, different than where I intended. How, that's how I ended up wandering for three days and nights in the Gobi Desert, and I was on my last legs when a merchant caravan found me. They took me to Kashgar, and that's where I met one incredible fellow. His name was Kilk. He was a weaponsmith and one talented warrior. He could fight with any weapon, on any style under the sun. In the battles, he was relentless. Giving his opponents very little opportunity to act. You mean the Blade Master? Or the Edge Master? He said, he always said he fought to test out the weapons he made, but it's hard to believe he thought of fighting so casually. I've never fought a fiercer warrior. If I only I had known how to deflect his attacks when I was on the defensive, I may have been able to put him off balance. Alas, this was all I could do to block his attacks. At the time, and before I knew it, I was defeated. If you're ever in Kashkagar, I recommend you go see Kilt. She's an expert warrior and a first warrior weaponsmith. You won't regret meeting him. A warrior smith. Did he sound like someone... He, he did sound like someone I'd like to meet. I decided to keep on Dorona's recommendation in Ryan.
Basic advanced reversal edge. Follow up attacks. You're early, up early again. Good. Diligence and hard work are the keys to developing a skilled hand and sound body. Your dedication is admirable. Now let's get to your final lesson. I'm talking about the clashes that emerge in the heat of battle which require you to think on your feet. And then there will be no more tutorial and we can actually play the fucking game. Oh boy, gameplay. There's a game under all, there's a game under all this tutorial, you know? Reverse a clash edge stalemate. Pressing the same button as your opponent. Yeah, I know that. In the event of stalemate, you'll enter a second mountain of clash where another button press will be necessary. I know that. I know that. The indicator of the clash will have the advantage in the second round. And they will win in the event of another stalemate. And additionally, their attack will be treated as a lethal hit and afford them the opportunity to unleash an extra powerful combo. The initiator. Okay. Reaching a stalemate with your opponents the only way isn't the only way you can stand a vers versal edge class. If you press Y and your opponent presses A, you can break through their guard and extend the clash. By forcing their opponent to guard against your Y attack, you can greatly deplete their guard stamina. Reversal class movement. You can move during reversal class? Before to dodge X. Move back foreground or background to avoid Y and then move back to evade B. I didn't know you could dodge during that. Cause nothing does that in the game. The computers don't utilize that even on the hardest difficulty. I didn't really notice until, well, I didn't really read all of them until now, but I love it the part where you're, like, setting your special stats, all the, like, what it says next to, like, each little stats, for example, Flama. For strength, a strength of one says wet noodle. Strength of two, beef chili fish. Three, dough baby. No, doughy baby. Four, lightweight. Five, average Joe. Six, barrel chested, seven, beach bully, eight, circus strongman, nine, doomsday packs, ten, Hercules bigger cousin. Also great perception. If you have one, it says death bat. And if you have ten, it says eagle with telescope. Land the fucking uh, attack that's immune. <laughs> Okay, so five, okay, in endurance, if you have five, it's stain resistance, simple enough. If you have four, it's handle with care. Three, do not bend. Two, crumbly. And one, which kills me, basically dead. <laughs> basically dead. <laughs> intelligence. I should do an intelligence one playthrough at some point, but I like having high intelligence. It affects your skill points. It's because it gives you an opportunity to roleplay something you've never done before. Because you can't do it in real life. I know, but I haven't done... Well, I mean, I usually do... I was... Your high intelligence. Built. Yeah, I'm making fun of your intelligence. I pet aminals. It... It's fine. I have an intelligence of one. That's a D&D &D joke. That was of all far inspiring match from the flow of battle. I can see that your trading has been, so far been time well spent. I'm gonna do a nine in flow. Tides. You need to read the flow and th three moves ahead if you want to win. That's the secret. Yeah, like fighting games being video game chess. I like video game. Uh, uh, I like actual chess that have been turned into a video game. 
Speaking of which, Metro Caravan hiring you as guard. Port in Persia, big city. Ship that take you back to India. Soon boarded a trading ship on the way to India. Was sunk by a raging tempest right after the Persian Gulf. Floated on a piece of driftwood. Africa. Obviously, energy weapons gonna get it. Uh, right. Science. Clothes were tattered and torn, but still had your weapon um, made by the natives. That just survival. made the, of course, that just made the natives think I was a pirate. Soon, found myself fighting off a local warrior by the name of Wold. I'd like to believe that we were evenly matched in strength and speed, but Wold was far more experienced than I. He could read the flow of battle like a book. I could end it whenever we and whenever we clashed, I foolishly tried to pull out the same move time and time again, and that's why I lost. Maybe you win no rock, paper, scissors, you shouldn't keep throwing out rock, you dumb shit. Fortunately, I'm just tired of this fucking tutorial. Cause I learned like only two new things and I had to go through a bunch of bullshit to learn it. Well, now I need to find a fucking energy weapon ASAP because I have an 11 in guns. I can't fucking shoot for shit in this build. You can't shoot for shit in that build? Yes, because it's, well, I can't shoot traditional firearms for shit. I have to find an energy weapon like ASAP. And you don't start with one. Hey, you me up, Doc. Get, get me out of here. Turn on, turn on hardcore mode. Get me out of here. Anyway. I always play on hardcore mode. Now we can play on a fucking. Uh, we can play the actual fucking game. The actual finish. This is like, this is like the only open, quote unquote Bethesda game where I don't like hate the beginning of it. Mercenaries? What the fuck is this mercenary bullshit? Uh, the game doesn't shut up about all of my DLC that's loaded. Oh, wait. Let me, let me open Food. The cheat, let me open the cheat terminal and remove my Pip Boy glove. Fuck that shit. If uh, what Zazamel told me was true, there's a way to extend my life. I had to try it. I pursued him through the forest, but what laid ahead of me was a fate I could have never conceived. Objectives and conditions. Defeat your opponent. Are you just gonna read everything? Yeah, because it's not fucking voice acted. That's what you have to do in a, re in a let's play. You don't know? There's no rule thing. I'm pretty sure anyone in your stream can read. Oh, thank god there's a laser pistol on sale. And a recharger rifle. You know, I'll take the recharger rifle even though I hate it. It's probably gonna come in handy. The air was stifling and each step forward required an immense amount of effort. Zazamel uh, proceeded to proceed unfazed. Eventually my eyes were greeted by something beyond my own imagination. I read fast, that's why. Me reading out loud uh, actually allows people to actually see, like, get what's going on. Or else I'd just be going through a bunch of dialogue and people are like, wait, what the fuck? One of, these day, one of these days, I'm gonna find Johnny and shove his guitar where the, shove don't, where the sun don't shine. That, that is an astral fissure, a rip in time, space and time. It was caused by a great power that flows through the earth and the evil dispersed by the evil seed. To continue living, you'll need to obtain the power of the astral fissure. Naturally, it's easier said than done. Astro Fishers exude a massive amount of force that will either destroy anyone who weak who dares approach it or turn them into a malfested. However, when someone with greater power approaches, a flash of light will bring with it a visitor. Oh, I've, already cool. got, I've already got a laser pistol with two mods on it, so yeah. Don't just sit there surprised, it looks like you've got a fighter in your hands. Quah. The lamest, like, fucking monster reel at all time. Wow. What, do I, what do I need to make energy cells? Because I already need ammo. It's a berserker using Misarugi style. I'm turning that off.
Get wrecked, scrub. I got a double perfect, you fucking loser. It's because of the tutorial. No, it's because I fucking know how to play Soul Calibur. Freakish warriors, berserkers, appear with the strong approach on Astral Fisher, perhaps in response to their power. Berserkers Berserkers come from the memories of warriors who sought strength to defeat them. You must simply be stronger. There is no other way. However, you obtain a phenomenal power from the Fisher, which will enable you to continue living and provide resistance to Astral Chaos's attempts to devour your soul. That he was streaming a fighting game, but I think he's actually just brushing up on his reading. If you can withstand the astral chaos, you will no longer have to fear for your life. Now claim the power from the astral fisher. So apparently, I don't need to make anything. My mother wanted pizza. Oh, cool. Encouraged by Zazamel, I thrust my arms into the astral fisher. A surge of light bursts forth, flowing through my arms and into my body. My heart had pounded as my body began burning feverishly. Well, I, I already have a laser pistol with uh, two weapon mods attached. So I've got a good start. I have like no ammo for it though, so I have to use the recharger rifle, which I hate. As long as... It's not a terrible... I'm not saying it's a terrible gun, but it's a terrible gun. As long as the scattered evil and the Earth's power remain, astral fishes will continue to appear. I mean, uh, okay, it's, it's, it's not terrible, but it has like the worst condition ever, but infinite ammo. I'm already destroying half of it. I hear that there's another astral fish out in the outskirts of the village to the southeast. That is all I can tell you. Before you go, take this. Sazuma so revealed a set of scales on top of which fluttered one blue flame and one red flame. These spirit are spirit scales, otherwise known as Libra, the Libra Soul. Take them. Your body is overflowing with energy from astral chaos. It is the power of chaos and of order. State, the state of your soul will determine which power you draw from. These skills reveal to you which way your soul is leading. It should help you maintain control. Now you must embark on a journey to save your life. So long. So a morality system in a fighting game. Are you going to read everything that pops up on your screen? He has, he kinda has to. There's no voice acting. There's voice acting in the fucking Soul Chronicle, but not in the fucking main story mode where you play as an OC. I read fast, so I wouldn't be able to tell because I fucking suck. Cool. He asked me if I, if I wanted to do voice acting, and I said no because I'm not voice acting this character who is female. <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. She didn't even voice act. She didn't even fucking do anything. She hasn't said anything forever. You, give water. Give, give, give water. Thank you. Give water. I'm playing on hardcore mode. I can't play this game on normal mode anymore. It feels like lacking. I like hardcore mode. Do these geckos have meat I can take? Okay, I can't loot it, loot it all. I guess I'll just sell that later. Open my eyes on the impossible sight. Oh my gosh, she's just limping away. It was just floating in the vast space. Ground was nowhere to be seen, and the sky stretched on into infinity. Ruined chunks of masonry floated nearby, a broken pillar from a temple, a half-collapsed house, a fallen tower, structures of every shape and size from every corner of the globe. At the center of it all was an enormous whirlpool of light. I, I watched as the a colossal building was drawn into it, with bricks ripping from the uh, mortar and accelerating into the brilliant glow. 
A piece of rubble made contact and disappeared in utter silence. The light captivated me with its beauty, but at the same time it filled my heart with dread. Little by little, that terrible light was drawing me in, struggling as I might. I could not break free of its inexorable grasp. Why are they using big words? I know what that means, but why? Yes, dog. He is... He is complaining. Slowly! Ever slowly! The dog will shut up. The distance between us shrank. Maybe it was destiny for my soul to begin intertwined with the astral chaos. But I will not submit my destiny to my destiny and allow myself to be consumed by that bright heartbringer of death. I need strength, the strength to defy my fate. What are you, fucking guts from Berserk? That's what I should have made. Out of golf cemetery, grabbed him cigarette butt, because I need them. The light drew near, suddenly two swords appeared before me. So I reached out to grasp the floating blades. A voice broke the silence. Those who desire strength must make a choice. If you value freedom and wish for the power to pursue your own path, choose the golden sword. If you honor virtues of harmony and reason and wish for the power to bring order to a chaotic wor wor world, choose the Azor sword. Choose the big guy. So which one should I choose, Flame? So the Azor one, the, which is the good option. Yeah. I grabbed the, uh, grabbed the Azor sword and felt a wave of peace wash over me. My mind tranquil, my senses sharp. I raised the blade high and then st struck a swift blow at the swirling light. This. Your soul resonates with the light. I'm good. During your journey, sometimes you'll face yourself of what you'll find yourself faced with a momentous decisions that change your fate. These choices affect the game story and alter the balance of the spirit scales, a mystical artifact that tips okay. Hidden missions depending on how the scales are tipped. So it's worth it to go good, go evil, and go neutral for multiple playthroughs. If you want to play everything. Uh, feels like I'm playing a visual novel instead of a fucking game for some reason. That's why I was asking if you wanted to voice act, but you d said no. Well, yeah, I don't want to. But with a nightmare with every fiber of my being, on, lead me back to reality. Reduce your opponent's health below a certain level to win. Oh, it's Kielik. Hi. Hey, you. You okay? Wanna well, be careful swinging your weapon around like that by yourself. Maybe you had a few too many drinks. Oh, right, that's not Kielik, like that's Maxi. God damn, I'm dumb. Good job. Uh, a shadow of what looked like an enemy wavered in front of me. One that seemed robust, strong, then armed. I readied my weapon. The only my only escape from this nightmare was to fight. So I can't even tell that it's a good, it's a guy. Easy there. I'm not looking for a fight. Look, well, it looks like I got no choice. Okay, so I can't see anything. So I'm just fighting, swinging my sword wildly, and I see fucking Max, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm going to fight you, cause you're Shadow Man."
back to census. I'm just gonna make him actually sound dumb. Of course you are. Wasn't a nightmare. Fighting for real. Came to. Heroic looking man was standing before me. Before he died. Name, Maxi. Yours? I told Maxi my name. It is I, Splatoon! From Splatoon! You really should have just let me figure out the name. Good name. I'm not going to steal you. You skilled. Listen, me. Sorry. Job offer. I'm not gonna read everything. I was all good. But I'm going to give a rundown. A quick rundown. But it's nearby. Vanished. Mysterious hole. Strange creatures came out. Village believes those creatures had attacked the villages. Okay. Oh, good. Blow, fly. Blow flies. Me uh, strong. So said yes. But they want me to take hold. Thinking, thinking help. Ran you. Rewards jerseyer than a rare stick. 50-50. Mysterious hole sounded like an astral fisher. I asked where it was. He said, I don't, I don't fucking know. And then pointed in a direction. Alright, let's do this. Self assured grin. I shook the I shook the man's hand. Okay. Alright, I was supposed to grab something up here. We'll grab. Okay, yeah. killer, you wanna fight? No, he doesn't. Hopefully you didn't notice that he went AFK. Okay? No, I I knew he wasn't. I knew he was there, okay? I just was... Forgot for a second. Denial. Fuck you. Denial. Fuck you! Denial. We're in Africa, you bitch! Okay. Mm. Alright, men. And Zach. <laughs> Alright, men. Frisky. Yeah, I'm not mad at you. Oh! <laughs> That's mean. That's mean. What is it? True, but it's mean. You shouldn't be saying f men. You should be saying, "All right, furries and Zach." But except, except Flame isn't a furry, and Killer, I'm and, kill and, kill and Killer's a. Actually, I don't know what Killer is. Killer's an enigma. He's everything. He's a confusion. We're not talking bad about Killer, by the way. It's just daily conversations. And before this, this gets taken down by YouTube for being bullying. Probably. Um. Water, flying water. Maxi, tell me stories. And let's just do the powder ganger, the killing the powder ganger mission for the extra XP. Lord went nuts. Town the massacre, wipe out Paul. Population. No one knows who caused it. Me thinks Nightmare did. We attacked a bunch of creeps with red eyes. Maxi, Captain Pirate Crew. Wasn't threatening. Well, I was giving you the b travel books, Splatoon. Oh, I, just nothing. I'm just trying not to die. 
Why are you saying too much? Imagine there's something I needed to take care of, but the astral fish are created by the evil seed. Never heard of it. So my crew might know something though. I'll ask around. It's me bedtime. Wake up early. Me pet aminals. I have a nightmare. And I saw Cervantes in that. At least his shadow. The tale of two swords repeatedly told. Just spooked. Headache. Nightmare. Call out of your sleep. Here, drink some booze. Alcohol. Alcohol isn't the answer, but it does help you forget the question. It also helps you forget things. A lot of questions. Like, why am I having these nightmares? Which I was already told. But then I forgot because... I don't fucking care, really. I bought a fighting game to pl fight. Not have sit through 15 minute tutorials. Cat, are you me the pink we eye? came across a friendly young man who shared his same, same goal as us and had a proposal. Conditions and objectives defeat your opponent. It's one hell of a fucking proposal. <laughs> Young man, smiley. I, I already missed my run like wins perk. I hate the hall of wins speed in New Vegas, and I'm too lazy to do a script extender for a sprint mod. Uh, no, don't leave me here with Zach. Oh my god. My dog is being a brat. How Ron? Why you have a what, what's a Chinese man doing in fucking Africa? I'm not trying to be racist. I'm sorry. Yes, you are. This is the 1500s, though. This, America wasn't even fucking founded yet by this point. So you saying America has to be founded before racism? Well, that's pretty racist. No, I'm saying the known world is basically Europe and Asia. What's in a what's a Chinese man doing in English-controlled Africa historically? It doesn't make much sense. That's what I'm saying. I see, I'm Maxi, and this is my partner in crime, Splatoon. The video game. I just carry my Nintendo Switch with me. Hey, you got Mario Kart on that, bruh? Yeah, let's play Mario Kart. I'll fucking red shell you. Oh, man. That said, no that was nothing about what I said there. It was nothing what the fucking text said. Yeah, I, I noticed. Yes. Were you trying to use a guard impact on me, you fuck? This guy is obviously bad if I can just sit here and just crouch attack the entire time. Oh, 
I just killed a man. That man's dead. Oh, I'm gonna have to take on the powder gangers with very unfair odds because I didn't level speed before doing this. Yeah, whatever. Do you win? I must say your aggressive style is impressive. You just fucking suck, loser. You're not so bad yourself. You're not so bad yourself. Fuck you, Maxi. That's somewhere else. We're being attacked, woman. Sounds really weird. If I had a capture card, I'd. Where's Flay when I need him? Oh, cake? Feels like they didn't give our character any dialogue whatsoever. That was easy. Howron's Mooncake. Can carry you to victory. So basically, buffs. I don't know how to fucking play a fighting game. I'm not going to fucking. I'm not gonna eat food. Health recovery. No, fuck you. I don't need health recovery. I realized I shouldn't set my agility so low. Stop right there. What are you doing? We watch over there, area. You shall not pass. Qualifiers. Saving humanity. Get out. We're here to hunt monsters. If you share the same mission, it would benefit all of us to work together. I think I was born yesterday. You're just trying to get to the Fisher. That's Lord Aswell's. And I'll be damned if you get in his way. Astral Fisher. That thing you were talking about. Splatoon the video game. Daniel! They're going to ruin our plans! We should kill them! The man ready is raping. No fighting, guys. No trouble. Just leave. Skip the good bit. I... Okay, you got Cervantes weapons. Yeah, you don't fight with Cer like Cervantes. Guy was threatening that he would kill me, and I fucking perfected him. What does that say? This man will be dead. I hate bats. Like, so much. Why do you hate it? Because sometimes when you shoot, like, too close to the target, it just misses. Plus, I can, I can aim way better than relying on an accuracy chance. Yeah. But in some games, you don't have the option. 
only really good for taking like quick reaction shots. They're trying to kill multiple enemies. Trying to shoot something that's really up close to like a fucking tiny ass gecko that's being really annoying because geckos in this game are the worst thing ever. Or blowflies. Oh yeah, or, or that's just there because blowflies exist. <laughs> Stand down. This lady killed me. I am a ghost. You don't want to fuck with her. Next time I will kill you. I powder ganger. <sighs> I got a different weapon. It's a Kugel. Almost got my lighting blown off. Acquire the weapons. I'm not reading the tutorial bits. Oh. Okay. So I have to use different weapons and styles. I'm gonna go with Flame Blood told me to use though. Echoes. Vertical attacks do more damage. That's the hole we're talking about? Give me a break. That ain't any hole. Its ability is beyond us. Is that what you were looking for? Yes. Warrior appeared. Ready to its weapon. Fight time. Dramatic miss. Gua. Don't want that to be a chat name, but I don't have the chat to do it. Because of flame blood, I have to get extra close in order to fight. Stuff. Oh, because I'm short, so I have no reach, but I do more damage. Cool. Kind of want to get a good look at. Oh, okay. What? I got hit. Why did I get a perfect?
What was that all about? Oh, it's just a thing that I uh, have to do to keep living. So what about this hole? It's just a hole. What are you doing? Closing the hole. Well, filling the hole. The hole is gone. What'd you do? I... I told them everything. Got no reason to doubt you after what I just saw. It's also crazy shit in my life. And I've been on acid. But nothing like that. I'll go get water, Splatoon. You should stay away from it. Hi. Your soul surges in your body. What's that guy's plan? All right. I think we're done here. So that's it for the stream. I'll do it next time when we have uh, less shit going on in the background. We've been streaming for like two hours anyway. So, um, if you're going to sleep, it's like five, six o'clock. Good night. If it's a day, if it's morning, have a good morning. I'm going to sign off now because I'm awkward as fuck. I'm back. I'm ending the stream. Say goodbye to the chat. There was actually other people watching.